Has the past year given you any doubts about studying medicine? Um, yeah. Was competition worse, the same or better in second year? I just don't care anymore. What was the most stressful period this year? I definitely fell out of love with medicine this year. Did you have any breakdown this year? I know the uni was trying its best, but yeah. it just wasn't cutting it. <laughs> genuinely don't think I would have passed those exams. Bruh. It was just too much. Run away from people. At one point, I cried about every single one of them. <laughs> Nothing was adding up. One plus one was five. It was a mess. Hiya guys and welcome back to Journey to Med. For those of you who don't know, my name is Liddy. And my name is Hazal. And in today's video, we are going to get down to the nitty gritty. Ooh. And we're going to be talking about our experience at medical school as second year medical students. Guys, we're here to tell the truth. And nothing, and nothing but. but the truth. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> As you guys will have seen in our last few videos, in our last few vlogs, we have finished medical school. We're done. Exam two. Exam two. I don't know who that is. Don't know her. And of course, that means that we're going to tell you guys all about how second year went, how we found everything, everything you want to know. So without longing it out too much, make sure you guys like this video because it's probably going to be the best video you've seen on YouTube. <laughs> but with that being said, let's get started. Yeah, get into it. We asked you guys to send in any questions you have in regards to our review, so we'll be answering those today. We divided this video up into a few chapters that we have timestamps for in the description box down below. The first section is all about work and revision. Starting off with the first question, which is how did you find virtual learning this year? Of course, I had to start with that question, you know, shout out to Cove. At the start, it was really hard to get used to because none of us have experienced virtual learning before. And just the fact that I had to be in my room, get out my bed, go onto a laptop, watch a lecture and then do my work in the same room. It was just too much. But then we started changing our study location. We started going to uni. Watching my lectures in a uni environment did actually really help mm -hmm. and helped me a lot with my studying as well. If rules didn't change that allowed us to go onto campus and study on campus, mm -hmm. I think that would have really affected our exam season, 100%. our productivity and just how we would have performed overall this academic year. Yeah. So honestly, so grateful that things got better and were able to go onto campus. The second question is how was your workload and was it easier to manage was it worse in first year or second year i think workload was harder in first year the fact that my teaching this year wasn't face to face meant that my workload was actually easier i think like i didn't have to go in for my pbls i didn't have to go in for my anatomy sessions and they were just online which meant i saved more time with like traveling and all that stuff although we had more content in second year it was easier to manage and handle just because mm. it made sense it's so difficult to study and learn something when it's not adding up with the other things yeah. you have to learn yeah. and in first year honestly guys it was scatterbrain <laughs> for me nothing was adding up one plus one was five it was a mess it's okay it's okay how did your study method in year two compare to year one so guys i'm gonna keep this nice and short in year one year one I improvised. In year two, I improvised with intelligence. First year, like the revision methods I used were absolutely shambolic. I what don't were they? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we we're lucky that our first year exams got cancelled because I genuinely don't think I would have passed those exams. No, but we're here now. We're sorry. here now, and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, our next question is: Which module was worst this year? Without even, without even no thinking. word of a doubt. Brain, brain and, and behaviour. So brain and behaviour is all things related to the brain. And I can't even describe the distribution. <laughs> and you just wait for the statement. I can't describe the distribution. But all I can say is, brain and behaviour, the door. The door. What was the most stressful period this year? Exam season. <laughs> How was the work-life balance this year and how did it compare to last year? Again, this is really dependent on the fact that uni was virtual, but I think, Very dependent. I think our work-life balance was quite good this year. Yeah, definitely. And I think it was just, it was amazing. Like, it was yeah. really, really good. This was the year where I like, I stopped being a BHMA student ambassador for the British Holistic Medical Association. I stopped being an online tutor. And that's just because I generally couldn't handle all of my commitments. I couldn't. Yeah. It was just too much. And I was like, you know what 
just because you can do everything doesn't mean you, you should do everything. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. I just yeah. think this generation is just too fast paced and sometimes you need to sit back and be like, all right, cool. What's bringing me happiness? What can I really balance? You know, etc., yeah. etc. Et so sometimes you can't balance everything and you just have yeah. to cut things out that don't make you happy. You have to cut things out that you just don't have the capacity for and hopefully in the future you will. Our last question for this section is, what is your one overall tip to do well in second year? My one tip for second year, guys. Oh my gosh, I know I'm actually gonna sound like a demon when I say this. <laughs> guys, run away from people. Run away from people who are competitive. Run away from people who are just gonna bring so much negativity and stress into your life. When things get really, really hard, the last thing you need is people who are actively in secret competition with you, people who are actively trying to compare themselves to you, people who are trying to bring you down, and people with weird energy. Like, I'm so sorry, weird. but you just need to run away from those people. Because at the end of the day, maintaining your peace is so, so important. So honestly, focus on you, and if anyone is trying to bring any source Anyone. of negativity or trying to disturb your peace run away so guys the next topic that came up quite a bit yeah. was friendships and the cohort but before we get into that topic if you're enjoying this video click that subscribe button down below and join the j2m family we live we live we live how did you find networking and making friends this year okay this is gonna be this is such a happy question yeah we've made so many amazing friends this year yes. and i absolutely love it like we've networked with so, so many, many people. different types of people yeah. from different backgrounds it's been amazing it has literally been so amazing first year for me like if a few lots were there from back in the day was very difficult i found it very difficult to network i found it very difficult yeah. to make friends and just meet like-minded people with like-minded energy do you understand what i mean yeah. in second year i met a lot of medical students that were calm that were the same energy as me that were like-minded and i think it made me a believer that you know don't don't judge people or criticize people put them all in one box like med students mm. come in all shapes and sizes sometimes it's not always easy to find people who are like you but they're definitely out there wow that was so powerful <laughs> the next question is was competition worse the same or better in second year i think it's been less simply because i just don't care anymore i don't care what you're doing I don't care what revision you've done. I don't care what lecture you're on. All I know is what me and Lydia are doing. And that's all that really matters. matters. Competition doesn't exist because I'm not letting it exist. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes. so it might be more, but I don't know because I don't care. So for me, it's been less. Yeah, I agree. Our next section is all about regrets and expectations. First question is, what are your regrets from second year and is there anything you wish you did differently? Do you know what my regret is? I'll tell you what my regret is. I really wish that we were more confident in ourselves, that we peaked, that we thrived, that we reached our potential. And our comfortability. And how comfortable we were with everything and in ourselves in September when we first started yeah. the year rather than you know a quarter way through the year and stuff. Yeah. But in saying that, as much as we bash first year, as much as we talk about this and that, I am I am grateful that I had those experiences because I wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah. I wouldn't be the person I am today full of so much like confidence and you know I know who I am kind of thing yeah. if I didn't go through those awkward stages. So you know what? It's a regret but at the same time it is what it is and we move. Ooh, this is a good one. So do you wish you lived out in second year or are you happy that you commuted? It really wouldn't have made sense for us to live out, especially during this whole COVID situation where we were in lockdown. So I was going to be away from my family in the same city by myself. It doesn't sound it doesn't nice to up. me. No, yeah, it doesn't no. sound nice. So I'm happy I commuted. And because we both drive, we really didn't need a reason to live out. The next question is, has second year lived up to your expectations? I don't know about you, but I didn't go into second year with yeah, many expectations. Same. Because first of all, the whole lockdown thing was going on. I didn't yeah. even know what second year was going to be like. Mm -hmm. I couldn't expect face-to-face -face teaching. Yeah. I, I expected nothing. And yeah. I guess it lived up. It was better than my expectations because I expected nothing. So, yeah, yeah. And our final question for this section is, has the past year given you any doubts about studying medicine? Oh, wow. That's they said, are you going to drop out? Do you understand what I mean? Hell no. Oh, nope. 
it has a no. don't want to do medicine still yeah. want to be a doctor yeah pretty much it yeah. our next section is all about motivation how was your motivation throughout the year and how did you deal with low motivation it was so hard to motivate myself in this bedroom it was so 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 hard to get up and do work and i did actually fall behind on some work because i was just like I don't want to do it like I would get up in the morning and I'll be like I don't want to work today so it was really really hard to motivate myself and I think a lot of students were in the same like mental headspace of I don't want to do my work and the main thing that did help me like I said previously in this video is change my location go downstairs study in my brother's room study in my parents room just do something different that isn't this room because mm -hmm. these four walls can become very like inner and like you feel like you're stuck in this room so yeah the main thing to deal with low motivation for me was just to have even a tiny bit of a change in environment the next question which is actually a really good question is did you lose your love and motivation for medicine because of how sciencey it is for the first two years a hundred percent it's a bit of a sticky one still I definitely fell out of love with medicine this year. I'm not gonna lie to you. We had nothing. We didn't even have GP placements. Our GP placements were online. Yeah. And I know the uni was trying its best, but yeah. it just wasn't cutting it. It wasn't. And it was really hard. hard. It was really, really hard. Yeah. The main thing that got me through that was looking forward to third year. Like we've bigged up third year a lot in our heads. We're like, we're so excited to just go on placement and just walk around the wards as a medical student because yeah. that's what we want to do like we yeah. want to be in that environment yeah so it was really hard to get through second year i feel like obviously we're doing a science-based degree so we're not complaining yeah. about the science i mean we don't yet. hate science we don't but hate science but we uh, we obviously want an, a balance between the science aspect and also meeting patients and learning about yeah. from patients and stuff like that did you have any breakdowns this year and how did you deal with your breakdowns do you know what guys i'm not gonna lie i actually did yeah me too i do our uni gave us essays did i oh pick to gosh. do an essay based I subject I and i think we had three essays and i actually cried for all three <laughs> at one point i cried about every single one of them i don't write i'm never going to write and that's on period we actually did well in them which is surprising surprising what but guys? doing it planning it writing it proofing it all of it i Hey, I'm gonna so hate much. it just as much when we have to do it next year. Okay, we're actually on our last two questions. Rate your second year experience out of 10. 6.5. I knew, you know what, you always love your point fives. It's so extra. Yeah, because sometimes just the integers aren't cutting it, you know? I was gonna say seven. Seven. Yeah. I need to give space for improvement. Yeah. I need to give space for improvement. Because I know she knows how the thing set, guys. This is what I chose as yeah. my best friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Why am I begging you? Yeah. My arm's gonna bruise. Relax. I know the next couple years are gonna be way better than this because we're gonna make it better every single year, bigger and better. Um, but yeah, this year was quite good. Obviously, lockdown did make it a bit, mm, but mm. did also improve it in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's not average, it's a bit better than average, so 6.5. Yeah, I'm gonna go for seven. I feel like everything that is that it just has a six and below is associated with being bad in my head. So that's why it's a 6.5. Yeah, but it still has a six in there. I think seven, just because I would definitely love to incorporate some traveling, some yes. am like ridiculously amazing experiences. And finally, what was better, first or second year? We're not gonna answer that question. You can answer it for us. In the comments. <laughs> Because I know you know the answer to that question. Go answer that question. <laughs> and if you answer question, it, it's cheeky, you know? <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is about it for this video. And I hope you guys find it useful. But yeah, guys, second year is done. Yeah, I can't believe it. On to wow. third year, baby. That is crazy. We had so much fun filming this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah. Thank you so much to everybody that sent in questions. Love you. If all. you don't already, follow our Instagram at journey.t.mer so that you can be involved in things like this. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure we're well, watching. <laughs> Go subscribe now. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.